We'd like to show you how to demonstrate to your customers just how effective the wet task system is versus their current disinfection method. These step-by-step -step instructions will guide you through the use of the titration kit to prove your point. For this demonstration you will need a titration kit that consists of a titration tube. This tube has measurements in milliliters and is topped with a white cap with a hole. The QAC indicator solution, the QAC titration solution, and a direct reading titrator. You will also need to have on hand one wet task bucket and roll of wipers, two extra buckets, five to six cotton rags, one measuring cup, and a container to mix the chemicals if they're not pre-mixed. You'll also need the quant disinfectant you are testing mixed to the recommended targeted concentration level. Once you've assembled all the materials and identified each component of the titration kit, you're ready to begin. First, you need to understand what the targeted concentration should be for the chemical you are testing. This will be listed on the back of the chemical bottle. For example, Virex 256 has a targeted concentration of 660 ppm, parts per million. Please note that if you are not doing the test in a hospital where the chemical is already pre-mixed, then you should come prepared with a pre-mix solution. Now, let's test the solution by following these steps with your titration kit. First, take the white cap off the titration tube and fill it with 10 milliliters of sample solution. And then add five drops of the QAC indicator solution into the test tube. Place the cap back on and gently swirl to mix. The solution will turn green. Next, depress the plunger of the direct reading titrator and insert the adapter tip into the special plastic plug in the QAC titration solution bottle. Invert the QAC titration solution bottle and the direct reading titrator firmly together and slowly pull out the plunger until the large ring on the plunger stops at the zero line on the scale. If an air bubble appears in the barrel of the direct reading titrator, then partially fill the barrel and pump the titration solution back into the QAC titration solution bottle and try again. Turn the solution bottle right side up and remove the titrator. Then, insert the tip of the titrator into the test tube and slowly depress the plunger to dispense the titrating solution. You will need to gently swirl the tube to mix the solution while dispensing. Continue slowly adding the solution until the color of the solution turns from green to brown. If concentration of the chemical is above 500 parts per million before the color is changed, you will need to record this measurement and repeat your steps by depressing the plunger and retrieving solution again from the solution bottle. As you did before, depress the plunger into the test tube until the solution turns brown. Now, read the test results directly from the scale where the large ring on the titrator meets the direct reading titrator barrel. Finally, record the concentration of the solution. You will need to add this reading to the previous reading, which should be 500 parts per million. This combined reading should be the chemical's recommended target concentration level. Now, let's test the cotton rag solution. Start by placing five or six cotton rags into the bucket of solution and let it sit for three to five minutes. You can use this time to probe the customer and find out more about their process. Refer to the questions to ask section in the wet task sales guide for suggestions. After three to five minutes, you are ready to test the solution. First, pour the solution from this bucket into a measuring cup and then into the test tube and test the solution again following the previous steps. The solution should have dropped significantly since adding the rags. Record the concentration. Test the solution in the rag by squeezing out into a separate bucket and then pour this solution into the titrator and follow testing instructions again. Record this concentration. Now, Pour more pre-mixed disinfectant into the wet task bucket with wipers and let it sit for three to five minutes. If time allows,
Test the liquid squeezed out of the wiper in the wet task bucket just as you did the liquid from the cotton rag solution. You will need two wipers to get 10 milliliters worth of solution. Record your concentration level and compare to your previous results with the cotton rag solution. The results will show that the wet task system solution maintains the chemical's targeted concentration level while the solution from the cotton rag bucket does not. You'll see that this demonstration is a powerful tool to show the effectiveness of Kimtech prep wipers in the wet task system over using cotton rags.